Welcome to our video tutorial on how to add and subtract radical expressions. When are we allowed to combine radicals? Okay, ang sagot ay only similar radicals can be combined. Tandaan natin yun, dapat maging similar muna yung radicals bago natin sila pwedeng i-combine. And similar radicals have the same indices and the same radicands. Dapat parehong-pareho yung indices at saka yung radicands ng mga radical expressions bago sila pwedeng i-combine. Now, here is an activity where uh, I'm going to present pairs of radicals and our goal is to classify them as to whether they are similar or dissimilar. Question 1. Square root of 2 and square root of 2 are dissimilar? Of course, parehong pareho nga sila eh. How about question 2? The cube root of 5 and the cube root of 5. Nag-iba yung indices nila. Kanina, parehong 2. No, yung 2 dito, saka 2 doon. Dito naging 3 and 3. Siyempre, ganun pa rin sagot natin. Similar pa rin sila. How about item 3? We have the cube root of 10 and the square root of 10. Answer? Of course, the similar. Sir, pareho po yung 10 na nasa loob. Pareho po yung kanilang radicands. Well, ang sabi ng condition, dalawa dapat ang masatisfy. Pareho yung radicands and pareho yung indices. Pareho nga yung radicands pero yung indices naman ay hindi pareho. Kaya the similar pa rin yan. How about item 4? We have the 3. We have 3, the 4th root of 7. And 3, the 4th root of 9. Answer? Okay, dissimilar. Sir, pareho naman po yung 3 na nasa labas. And yung indices nila. It doesn't matter. Basta ang condition, dalawa. Indices at radicands. Hindi pareho yung radicands, kaya dissimilar yan. Kahit na pareho pa yung numerical coefficients nila, yung nasa labas, walang effect yon. Basta titignan lang natin yung indices at radicands. Dapat parehong pareho. Item 5. The square root of 2x and 4 the square root of 2x. Answer? Of course, similar pa rin yung mga yan. Kahit na hindi pareho yung kanilang numerical coefficients, ito 1, ito 4, pareho naman yung kanilang indices na 2 at radicands na parehong 2x. Kaya, similar pa rin yan. We are now to add and subtract similar radicals. How do we combine radicals which are similar? In adding and subtracting similar radicals, or sa ibang book tawag dyan ay like radicals, either subtract the coefficients of the similar radicals and then copy the common radical. Para mas maintindihan nyo, let's have examples. The first is the square root of 6 and the square root of 6. So, paano ba yan? So, dalatin yung process. In adding or subtracting similar radicals, add or subtract the coefficients. Ang coefficient ng first term ay 1. Yung pangalawang term ay 1. Sabi niya, i-add daw yan. So, kaya we have 1 for the first term and another 1 for the second term. Tapos, ang gagawin? Then, copy the common radical. Ang common radical nila ay the square root of 6. Tapos, simplify natin yan. 1 plus 1 is, of course, 2. Tapos, kopihin natin yung the square root of 6. Kaya, final answer, 2 the square root of 6. How about item 2? These are similar. Pareho, radical, uh, pareho yung radicands at indices. Kaya, sundan natin yun. We have... The first coefficient is 5. Kaya copy 5. Ang operation na involved ay subtraction. Copy. Minus. And then 2. Tapos kukopihin natin yung common radical which is the cube root of 9. Okay. Tapos simplify natin yung naka-grouping symbol. 5 minus 2 is 3. This is 3. And then copy the cube root of Nine. And that's our final answer. Item 3, negative 4, the 4th root of 2a, plus 11, the 4th root of 2a. Similar radicals pa rin yan, kaya i-combine natin yung kanilang numerical coefficients. You have open parenthesis, negative 4, tapos operation ay addition, so plus 11, close, tapos copy the common radical. We have the 4th root of 2a. 
kamukha kanina, to simplify lang natin yung naka-grouping symbol. And this gives us 7. Final answer, 7, the fourth root of 2a. Okay, habaan natin ng konti yun. Fourth example, we have 11x, the square root of 2, minus 5x, the square root of 2. So, meron na pong involved na variable. It doesn't matter. So, damo pa yung steps natin, yung process natin. We need to combine the coefficients. So, we have copy, 11x, operation is subtraction, minus 5x. Close, and then copy the common radical, which is the square root of 2. 11x minus 5x is 6x. And then copy the square root of 2. Okay, next we have the square root of 5 minus 2 the square root of 5 plus 4 the square root of 5. As you would notice, there are three terms here, pero pareho pa rin yung process dahil similar radicals naman yung mga yan. Yung i-combine muna natin yung mga coefficients nila. We have the first coefficient, uh, 1. Operation, minus 2. Second operation is plus 4. And then close. Copy the common radical, square root of 5. Pag samasamahin yung naka-grouping symbol, we have 1 minus 2, that's negative 1, plus 4 is 3. That's 3. Then copy the square root of 5. Pwede rin na 1 plus 4 muna, that's 5. Minus 2, 3 pa rin ang labas. So that's how simple combining similar radicals is. Now, how do we add and subtract the similar radicals? If the radicals are dissimilar, sometimes we need to simplify the radical expressions first to make them similar. Then, perform the operation or operations by applying the rule in adding and subtracting similar radicals. So basically, ang gagawin lang natin dito ay simplify muna natin yung bawat term para may lumabas na this, uh, similar radicals, and then gagawin lang natin yung ginagawa natin kanina in combining similar radicals. To better understand this, let's have examples. We have the square root of 50 plus the square root of 32. Obviously, hindi sila similar dahil yung radicals nila ay magkaiba. So, ang gagawin mo ngayon ay simplify natin yung bawat term. No? Pero dapat at this point, medyo mabilis na tayo mag-simplify ng mga expressions, ng mga radical expressions. Ang technique dito ay, dahil uh, yung index dito ay 2, we will be dealing with perfect square numbers. Okay? Ngayon, mag-isip ka ng pinakamataas na perfect square factor ng 50. Okay, ano yung naisip mo? Correct, 25. Ibig sabihin, yung the square root of 50, pwedeng maging the square root of 25 times, saan mo mo multiplying 25 para makuha yung 50? Okay, let's correct 2. So, yung 50, ginawa mong 25 times 2 dahil gusto mo magkaroon ka ng perfect square factor. Plus, yung second term, the square root of 32. Ano ang pinakamalaking perfect square factor ng 32? Correct, 16. We have 16 times 2. Okay? Next, simplify natin yung bawat term dahil yung uh, may factor, yung radicand na perfect square. Ibig sabihin, yung 25 pwede rin lumabas, yung 16 pwede rin lumabas. Square root of 25 is 5, kaya na akong 5. Yung 2 ay hindi perfect square, kaya may iwan yan sa loob ng radical sign. Same process, plus Gawin ulitin dito, square root of 16 is 4. Lalabas si 4, may iwan si the square root of 2. Ano nangyari? Yung given na radical expressions, naging uh, similar radicals na. So, pwede na silang i-combine, uh, tulad ng ginagawa natin kanina sa combining similar radicals. How do we combine similar radicals? First, we combine the coefficients. We have the coefficients 5 and 4 here. 5 plus 4, copy natin yun. We have 5 plus 4. Tapos, and close. Copyin yung common radical na the square root of 2. Tapos, yung mga, yung naka grouping symbol dito ay pwede simplify. Kaya simplify natin yun. 5 plus 4 is 9. Then, the square root of 2. Ito na yung ating final answer. Sir, pwede po bang mag-proceed na kaagad ako dito? 
Yes, pwede yan. Lalo na kung sigurado ka naman sa mga sagot mo. Item 2, we have 12. The square root of 3 plus the square root of 27 plus the square root of 75. Same process. Simplify natin yung bawat term. Pero dahil yung first term ay nakasimplified form na, kukopihin lang natin yan. Paano nalaman na simplified na yan? Kasi yung 3, wala ng ibang perfect square factor bukod sa 1. Kaya simplified form na yun. Plus, yung second term, 27. Ano yung pinakamataas na perfect square factor ng 27? Correct. We have 9. Ano mo multiply sa 9 para makuha 27? Okay, 3. 9 times 3 is 27. Kaya check mo yan. Third term. Pinakamataas na perfect square factor ng 75. Okay, 25. Sa so, ano multiply sa 25 para makuha 75? Okay, 3. Habaan natin yon. O ngayon, simplify natin ulit yung bawat term dahil merong factor sa mga radicands na perfect square. Pwede silang lumabas. Yung 12 the square root of 3, kukopihin lang yan. Kasi nga, simplify na yan. Yung second term, meron siyang factor na 9, which is a perfect square number. Kaya pwede siyang lumabas. Square root of 9 ay 3. May iwan sa loob ay yung 3. Third term, yung 25 ay perfect square number. Kaya lalabas yun, magiging 5 the square root of 3. Okay? Kaya meron na tayong similar radicals. How do we combine similar radicals? Pagsamahin niyo muna yung mga coefficients. We have 12 plus 3 plus 5. And then copy the common radical the square root of 3. Tapos simplify natin yung naka-grouping symbol. This is 12 plus 3 plus 5. That's is uh, 20. So final answer, 20 the square root of 3. Ito, we have four terms. The square root of 8 plus the square root of 8 plus the square root of 8 plus the square root of 18. Yung 8 ay may pinakamataas na perfect square factor na 4. Kaya pwedeng maging the square root of 4 times 2 yung first term. Yung second term, ganun din. We have the square root of 4 times 2. Yung third term, ganun din. The square root of 4 times 2. And yung third term, yung 18, may common, uh, pinakamataas na perfect square factor na 9. Kaya magiging 9 the square root of 2 yung radicand niya. Okay, tapos simplify natin yung bawat term. Yung 4 dito, lalabas magiging 2 the square root of 2. Pangalawang term, ganun din, 2 the square root of 2. Tapos we have 2 the square root of 2. At yung last term, magiging plus 3 the square root of 2. Medyo ayusin ko lang yun ng konti. That is plus the square root of, uh, plus, the, plus 3 the square root of 2. Ngayon, pwede ka mag-shortcut dyan. Pwede ng final answer na ibigay mo. We have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3. That is 9. Tapos kopihin mo yung square root of 2. Pwede naman yan. Okay? Lalo na kung sanay ka na at sigurado ka sa sagot mo. Next example. We have 5 the square root of 2. Minus 3 the square root of 8 plus 9 the square root of 32. Itong 5 the square root of 2 ay simplified na, kaya kopihin natin. Minus 3, yung 8 ay pwede maging the square root of 4 times 2. Plus 9, yung 32 ay pwede maging the square root of 16 times 2. Equals. So combine natin yung mga yan. Simplify natin. Uh, this is still 5 the square root of 2. Minus, uh, yung 4 ay magiging 2 paglabas ng radical. Pero nakaabang si negative 3. Kaya multiply natin si negative 3 dun sa lumabas. That is negative 6. Okay? May iwan si 2 sa loob. Next is, yung 16 ay perfect square. Paglabas niya, 4 na lang siya. Pero nakaabang si 9. Kaya multiply mo yun. 4 times 9 is 36. That is plus 36 the square root of 2. Tapos, final answer, we have similar radicals here. 5 minus 6 is negative 1, plus 36 is 35. Tapos, kopihin natin yung the square root of 2. And that is our final answer. We have the fifth one. We have 12x cubed 
uh, the square root of 12x cubed minus the square root of 27x cubed. May radical, meron na tayong variables na involved. Same process pa rin yan. Yung 12, pwede siyang isulat na the square root of, uh, pwede siyang isulat na 4 times 3. Yung x cubed, yan ay hindi perfect square dahil pag sinabing perfect square na variable, dapat yung exponent niya ay even. Eh, odd yan. Kaya hindi yan perfect square. Ngayon, gawin mo, ano yung pinakamataas na multiple ng 2 na mababa sa 3? Answer? 2. Kaya pwedeng maging x squared, yan, times, ilan yung kulang? x. Okay? x squared times x is x cubed. Sunod, uh, minus, same process pa rin, yung 27 ay may pinakamataas na perfect square factor na 9. Kaya yan ay magiging 9 times 3. Yung x cube magiging x squared times x pa rin. Tulad nung ginawa natin kanina. Tapos, combine natin yan. Uh, simplify natin yan. Yung, four, yung lahat ng perfect square factors ay lalabas. So here, we have 4 and x squared. Pada yung perfect square yan. Yung 4, paglabas niya ay 2 na lang. Yung x squared, paglabas niya ay x na lang. Kasi uh, kapag kumukuha tayo ng uh, root ng radical, uh, ng variable, dinidivide lang natin yung exponent niya by the index. Yan ay 2 divided by 2 is 1. Kaya may 1 tayo doon. So wala na tayong perfect square factor sa unang, fa sa unang term. Kaya may iwan na sa loob yung iba. May iwan ay 3x. Minus. Ganun pa rin. Yung 9 lalabas, magiging 3. Yung x squared, lalabas din, magiging x. Kaya may iwan sa loob, the square root, may iwan sa loob ay 3x. Ayan, meron tayo ulit na similar radicals. Combine natin, we have... Uh, 2x minus 3x tapos kopihin yung common na radical sa kanila which is the square root of 3x. Tapos simplify natin yan. 2x minus 3x is negative x. Tapos kopihin yung the square root of 3x. So ito na yung final answer natin. Last example na to. Negative 3 the square root of 2 plus 3 the square root of 20 minus 3 the square root of 8. Same process. This is negative 3, the square root of 2. Final answer na kasi yan. Yung pangalawang term ay pwede pa, kaya magiging plus 3. Yung 20, pwedeng isulat na 4 times 5. Minus 3. Yung 8, pwedeng maging the square root of 4 times 2. Simplify ulit natin. Negative 3, the square root of 2 plus we have 3, tapos yung 4, pwedeng lumabas yan, magiging 2. Paglabas yan, nakaabang si 3, kaya multiply natin yun. Diba? Ibig sabihin nyo kasi, multiplication. We have 3 times 2, that is 6. Tapos yung 5, may iwan sa loob. Next, we have negative 3, the square root of 4 times 2. Yung 4 ay perfect square, kaya lalabas yan. Paglabas niya ay 2 na lang. Pero nakaabang si negative 3, kaya multiply natin kay negative 3 yun. That is negative... 3 times 2, negative 6. May E1, C2 sa loob. Kaya yan na yun. Negative 6, the square root of 2. This time, tignan natin kung alin dyan yung mga similar radicals. Ayun. Yung first term, saka yung last term. Yung middle term, kukopi natin mamaya yan. Pero ang sasimplify natin dito ay yung similar radicals. Let's combine these two, yung mga naka-encircle. That is, combine natin yung mga coefficients nila. We have negative 3 minus 6. Tapos, kopihin yung common na radical, square root of 2. Papaano naman yung middle term na hindi similar dun sa mga nakabilog? Kukopihin natin yan. Kasama yung operation. Plus 6, the square root of 5. This is not yet the final answer. Kasi yung naka-parenthesis ay parehong constant. Pwede silang pagsamahin. Negative 3 minus 6 is negative 9. Tapos, kopihin yung square root of 2. Saka yung 6, the square root of 5. So, that's it. Thank you.